to another great episode of Facts and Stats. We appreciate all of our supporters that we've been having over the past two months. And if this is your first time watching, make sure you subscribe at the end of this video. And also like, comment, and give us some feedback. On the screen, we have all of our apps on the screen, so you can feel free to follow us on our own personal platforms. You see Three Level Mark, Q, Keem, and me, of course. And we're going to go ahead and get started for you all. You know, um, Damian Lillard, man. That's what we're going to start off right there. Damian Lillard. Um, Damn dollar. Amazing game last night. 6-2 and two record in the bubble game. You know, Dame time, of course. You know, talk to me Dame a little bit. So. Dollar. He, they came down there in Orlando. They wanted a chance to, you know, have a chance to make the playoffs, and now they got that chance. So, do y'all think they're going to, you know, beat the Grizzlies? How do y'all feel about Dame gameplay over the past eight games and so forth? How do y'all feel about the Blazers' chances at that too? We'll start with you, Q. Um, you know, Dame been balling. Like he, he, he set it off. Go out the bubble. He lost a couple games, but you know, he ain't. He ain't let it like derail his him from his goal, and you know the rest of his team, Melo, CJ, Nurkic, and all that, been following his lead. So it's it's crazy, especially thinking like they really could have easily just lost a couple games and not made it. But all right, so let me. I see, 50. I see you not talking with like that much energy. Is it because they on the brinks of playing your Lakers or what? I'm not worried about them. I'm not worried about them at all. You know, it's cool. You know, he's having his cool little Dame Dollar moment right now. But I'm not worried about them. Lakers and fall. Right, so keep, Lakers and fall. Keep, <laughs> keep talking. What's your thoughts on the Blazers, um, their gameplay throughout the bubble uh, at Damian Lillard? And do they have a chance in the playoffs if they get past the Grizzlies? I always say they have a. I always say they have a chance. And they had the best chance to beat the Lakers or whatever. Now to get past the Grizzlies. Because they got to win twice. That's what you nah, said. They got to win once. They got to win once. Oh, they they, 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 they eight seed. Okay, the ninth seed got to win twice. Okay, so I think they can clearly beat them. Like, but, like, going in, like, as far as playoffs, they got to get the defense together because they allow too many points. Right. That's true. So, really, most of their matchups, they really is a high scoring game. Mm -hmm. So, that's the only thing they have to work on. But they really have a good chance, you know, against the uh, Lakers. Okay, okay. So, Mark, what's your thoughts, last? You know, on the Blazers so far throughout the bubble, uh, playoff chances if they get past the Grizzlies, and are they going to get past the Grizzlies? Um, well, I know Dame has been on a tear. You know, he's had a full 40-point game since the bubble started. He's had two 50-point games and one 60-point game. So, he's been on a tear right now. But um, the Grizzlies, they do give him a little a little uh, matchup problem sometimes. Uh, the first meeting they had, you know, beginning of the season, um, John Morant did, um, did do a little work you know and did some damage on the boys. So um, I think they, they, they can have some good competition against them. I don't um, even think they beat them this season, too, at that. So. Yeah, they, yeah, they haven't. Well, the Grizzlies gotta beat I know them. it's going to be a – The Grizzlies missing yeah, they gotta beat them. Gotta beat them twice. It's going to be a little tough. So, But I'm not ruling yeah, out the Grizzlies. Yeah. Though, all in all, I do think Blazers are going to win it. Uh, yeah, because the Grizzlies don't have – they're not – I don't think they're ready. Um, they, they still don't have Jared Jackson either well. No question. So, um, so, do you feel like if they were to get past the Grizzlies, you know, they go against LeBron, AD, and the Lakers, you know, you like, do they, what's your percentage right now on them possibly winning, upsetting and winning that first round matchup? Uh, against the Lakers, I don't think they win it at all. Um, that's very slim, to be honest. I know, I know Dame is going to go off, but at the same time, I know the Lakers somehow, they're going to listen to LeBron, you know, he's going to get that game plan together and they're going to lock it. Yeah. See, me personally, um, you know, as a lay, I've been on a little Blazers bandwagon, Damian Lillard bandwagon, um, and hoping that they play the Lakers because I, ultimately I wanted the Lakers to win, but get, coming into the bubble and things like that, and then I switched to the Clippers because I feel like the Clippers have that better roster makeup and makeover and things like that. Uh, but the Lakers, they just they just don't look that strong to me. You know, like they just yeah. not nothing to be afraid of, and you know, it just looks like LeBron Cleveland days all over. But you just got Anthony Davis there yeah. to help him out. That's what it looks right. like to me. You know, what I'm saying? Yeah, so, right, right. It only takes a couple games for Dame to get started, and and, and, mm -hmm. and nobody on Lakers can contain him at all, and nobody on the Blazers can contain LeBron at all. So, right. you know, or AD really, or AD, or AD. AD. Yeah, because yeah, really, it's it's matchup problems on both sides of both. Exactly, like exactly. Last episode, and exactly. Um, that's why all these late Q Lakers in four people telling me Lakers in five. <laughs> I just can't see it. If it goes seven, it goes seven, and I and I don't think they would want that either. You know what I'm saying? So I want, 
<laughs> I want to see my man Melo go off against the ball, man. You really think they could take us to like seven? I know for sure it's going six. Yeah. yeah. I don't even think it's six. I really think, I think the most they'll go is five. I just don't think they could beat us. First of all, they don't even got good enough coaching to even beat us in six games if it were, or seven if it was to go to seven. Damn, he could score. He could. He could score. He ain't gonna score fifty four times. Why not, bro? He just basically averaged forty plus in the bubble. So why not? Right. Who, who, who on the Lakers roster is checking? Our defense, is, our defense is like that. Where? Our defense is like that <laughs> throughout the season. Throughout the season, you our can't say it. Like I can't. You keep saying throughout the season. We in the bubble. We right now. Y'all missing our best bubble. defensive guard. We talking about right yeah. now. Danny Green, not keeping up with him. I'm not gonna. Hold Avery Bradley, not. Not. It's, different. it's different. It's different once playoffs start. Okay, no question. But you never see that. Once y'all see, once y'all see that zero dark thirty, and LeBron got his family in the bubble now. It's rap. How can you it's say rap. it's different when the playoffs start? And you never even seen this roster in the playoffs. Right. I seen LeBron, and then I seen how the team played throughout the season. I know the bubble. The bubble happened, but I mean they clinched their seed. I can't just I can't just look at it and think this is a full one hundred percent effort after they just clinched the uh clinched the top seed in the West. So that's why I ain't even really tripping. Like these games, they look bad, but like that's just dumb just not really doing any preparation for the game and then probably not even playing a hundred percent because they're already clinched. It's like it's like, would you still go to a class where you got the A in the class already? Like, you chilling. You're not going to be, you know, studying that hard for that class. I think it's like the same kind of like logic with this. Okay. Okay. So, your word, your final statement is Lakers and four. No other, just Lakers and four. Four. Mm-hmm. They could get five. They could sneak one. Okay. Probably. Uh, you sneak more than one. Give you a hundred points a game. I'm letting you know that. Right. Right. You think you Lakers gonna be able to keep up with that for seven you know games? They ain't gonna shoot at least like 15 threes in one game. At least. They ain't gonna go crazy. Yeah. yeah. That ain't nobody. I mean, we, you can't forget about you can't forget about CJ. Look, can't forget about CJ. I'm gonna say this, Q. It may sound crazy right now, but remember I said this. It's going to be a game in a series where Dame score himself as many points as LeBron and AD combined. He might. Remember that. And that and that's tough. He it's going to be hard that. to be somebody like that, though. Yeah. yeah you got to watch out for Melo. You got to yeah. watch out for Trent. You got to watch Trent out for CJ. Even, even uh, white side. Nurkic, white side. White. Like, I like the matchup. Figure out what else was I, I like the matchup. I'm not here for the social media hype. I'm not here for the LeBron mm-hmm. hype right now. Year 17, you lead the league in assists. Okay, cool. I'm not here for all that right now. I like that. I love if you look at there. if you look at both rosters, I, like Portland really kind of got a slight edge, really. To be honest, they have a slight edge. You can say that. Mm-hmm. No, no, I, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know about the slight edge. I don't know. <laughs> the White House ain't waiting too much. Is... Javale ain't doing too much. Alice, Alice Crusco, eh. Left yeah, Dwight Howard been one of our most crucial K- KCP, yeah. yeah. I hear you on that part. Yeah, I, hear, I definitely do hear you on that part. But the Lakers just got the two better players. So it's yeah, that's it. They got two better players. That's all. all right, I ain't so a fan of KCP. We're going to switch to the next topic. So we just seen eight amazing games from eight great, I mean, 22 great teams in NBA. Who is y'all bubble MVP? We have TJ Warren, Damian Lillard, Luka, Booker, and Harden. I'm gonna start with you, Mark. Gotta go with Dame Dollar. I mean, <laughs> you gotta go with bro. He, he's he's been going off for the last three games, and I ain't seen nobody really be doing that. I mean, Luca, he's been putting up a few stats, you know, what I'm saying? a few triple doubles. I give him that, but Dame is just going no rip. Uh, also, Devin Booker as well, but you know, he didn't make the playoffs unfortunately. So, so ultimately, you see Dame. I gotta give it to Dame. But Dame didn't make the playoffs yet either. So why you had to say that about Booker? Uh, I mean, it's more. I feel like it's way more locked in for Dame. I feel like he's on a mission right now. He's on a mission. Right <laughs> so I'm gonna go with Dame. All right, respect. So Kim, who's your bubble MVP? No, it was you know TJ Warren until you lay the edge against the Heat. <laughs> You know, whenever I, you know, get on the bandwagon, the dude just fall off. But if I have to pick, I I probably go with Dame as well. 
really. Like you say, he been on the tear. Devin Booker, cool. Like, solely off, they went undefeated. Mm-hmm. And, but I say Dame Lillard. Okay. That's me. Q, who, who, who you got for the bubble MVP, man? Man, I'm picking Devin Booker, bro. Respect. I'm picking Devin. Cause I feel I feel like the Suns kind of got hold. I don't think it's fair how, like, like all the bottom teams got 39 losses, but only the Blazers and the Grizzlies get in the plan because, well, the Blazers, they 35 and 39. The Memphis Grizzlies and the Suns are 34 and 39. So that just means Portland just play one more game. Right, exactly. And I know it's like that from the season, but the way they set it up, you clearly should, uh, tell they wanted that uh, that Zion and LeBron, that Zion LeBron thing. Mm-hmm. So they should have they should have set it up better than that because these boys went eight and zero in the bubble. They ain't go eight and zero. They ain't lost two games. Okay. And then the Grizzlies just stunk it up. They won exactly. two games. Two they went eight. They went eight and zero. So my MVP going to Devin Booker because in the bubble, eight and zero. And I'm a, and just to add value to what Q just said, honestly, I was waiting for, I was hoping one of y'all said it. Uh, my bubble MVP, no question, Devin Booker. He, uh, just, it's, it's nothing more to say about it. You led your team to 8-0 victory, I mean 8-0 record, when nobody, mm-hmm. literally nobody predicted them to even win, win yeah, the game that they won. You know, they beat the Mavericks right, twice. Yeah. They beat Miami. They, they didn't beat, they beat the Clippers on a game winner, you know, so. Um, yeah. He averaged 30 at that, you know, seven less than what Dame averaged, but. You know, if if it wasn't for Booker, then I'd definitely go Dame. But just Booker just really claimed his superstar status in his run to me. So that's why yeah. he's my bubble MVP. He he done played amazing basketball, and he is the best shooting guard in the league to me, even with everyone healthy. So, you know, hats off to Devin oh. Booker and hats off to Phoenix, and hopefully they can continue this for better off next season. Yeah. And, and to add to, 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 to continue, you think you're better you better than Clay Thompson? If, you said what? You bet, yeah, better than Clay you Thompson. Think, yes. Think you're better than Clay Thompson. Yes. I know how you feel about players, though. Overall, defense, they better offense. They basically are better players. Hey, hey, hey. You know I, was about so, I was just talking about scoring. I was just talking about scoring. Oh, score? yes, yes. No questions. No questions. Okay. Um, but, like, the Spurs the Spurs play, like, three less games than uh, mm-hmm. the eighth and ninth seed. So, they didn't really have a legit chance anyway, you know. So, how mm-hmm. do the Grizzlies go two and six in a bubble and still get the play-in tournament? You know, so yeah, um, it, it, it definitely wasn't set up right. It definitely wasn't set up right, but mm-hmm. you know, it is what it is. Yeah. We got Dame versus John. These boys had games to the Suns. Like, they played the Clippers, Mavericks, Pacers, Heat, Thunder, Six, be all of them. All of them. All of them. The top right, team. Right top both team. So, that's two Dame and that's two Booker. Okay. I was hoping we seen Dame and Booker, man. For real. We was all hoping that. For real. Yeah, I'm glad nobody yeah. said hard, though. I'm glad nobody <laughs> said hard. <laughs> <laughs> but, last, so... We spoke about the bubble MVP. We spoke about the playing tournament. Now we're gonna talk about who's our first round predictions and you know just matchup wise. We're gonna start with the Eastern Conference and we're gonna start with you, King. We have the Bucks and the Magic, Heat versus the Pacers, Philly versus the uh, Celtics, and the Raptors versus the Nets. Just tell me who you got winning and why. Well, I got four zero with the Bucks and the um, Orlando Magic. Okay, that's that's clear. Uh, who else you say? TJ, TJ in Miami, your boy TJ, Pacers. He might get it together, but I say I got he pulling it off at least six. Six, okay. And then you got five, five, five or six, five, five or six. six. You got Philly and the Celtics. Uh, Philly and the Celtics. Philly and the Celtics. I'm going to get an ace to the Celtics. Okay. I think, I think they got, you know, they got better chemistry. To me, I think they got better scores on their side. They play real good defense, solid defense, and everything. And I got them going to six as well. I don't, I don't got it going seven. I got that going six. What about the Raptors and the Nets? Raptors and the Nets. I got the Nets still in one game. One game, but that's, that's, I, I mean, like that. I like that. Yeah. yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give the Raptors a five. Okay. All right, Q, what you got? What you got, Q, for the playoffs? Um, Eastern Conference. Eastern Conference, uh, Bucks and Magic, uh, sweet Bucks way. Um, Boston and Philly, I got Boston winning that, and Heat Pacers. Maybe like a maybe like a close five, like a really close five game. I like that. And Celtics just winning all. 
uh, Heat and Pacers. Uh, I got Heat and like Heat and maybe like six. Okay. Yeah, Heat and six, and then Raptors and Nets. I don't think the Nets will take one because the Raptors they play super hard and a hundred percent, like all the time. So I don't see them losing the game to them. So Raptors and four. Okay, I respect that. We got our first sweep. Uh, Mark Eastern Conference playoff predictions. Well, I got the Bucks sweeping the Orlando Magic for sure. I got Miami taking Indiana on a good five games. And I got Boston sweeping the Sixers because I got them sweeping the Sixers because Ben Simmons is not playing. And Joel Embiid, he's up and down with help all the time. So, I really ain't got nothing for that, brother. But uh, Toronto or Brooklyn, I'm going to go with Toronto in the sweep. Because Brooklyn don't really have. I mean, they have some good scores, but at the same time, they don't have Guy Reed. They don't got KD right now. They don't got DeAndre Jordan either, so. You don't think Charles LeVert is still a game? No, nah, I feel like they, Toronto, you know what I'm saying, with their um, history, you know what I'm saying, they just won the championship. I feel like defensive-wise, they're going to lock in on that guy. Mm-hmm. I hear that. So, I, I think they're going to sweep that. We all need to stop counting out Kyle Lowry, man. We need, need his exactly. respect. That's right. We got to get his respect. For my Eastern Conference real quick, uh, I got the Bucks sweeping the Magic in four. Miami Pacers, I got that going. I can't see them winning two. I got that going five, Miami. Philly and Boston, I can't say a sweep just off of me giving the respect to Josh Richardson, Tobias Harris, um, and B. And I know Horford, don't, he doesn't fit there at all. I'll, I'll be surprised if he's still there after this season. Um, I, think, I think that'll go six. You know, I, I really do think in B, just him being so good and – the balls are really don't have no big man that can stop and be um, cancer mm-hmm. and, and dice can't really do much with him in my opinion. Uh, mm-hmm. So I got that going six Boston winning and then the Raptors and Nets. I got the Raptors uh, definitely sweeping that as well. So then now we're going to switch it over to the Western conference. We're going to start with you Q Lakers versus Portland or Memphis. And then you'd have OKC versus Houston, Denver, Utah Clippers and Dallas. Just give me who you got winning and what's the series ending in? All right. Lakers in four. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, what's the next one? What OKC, is Lakers? OKC Rockets. I like that one. Okay. OKC Rockets. Um, let's say Rockets. I mean, yeah, Rockets in, let's say six. Six, okay. Rockets in six. Uh, Denver. In like a close, close four. Denver in a close. Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Denver. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give Denver six. That probably go to six. Yeah, I was say that Utah not getting swept by Denver. No, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. No. That's gonna be a good match. I don't know the way MPJ been playing. Michael Porter Jr. We might sweep them boys. I don't know, but uh, Clippers in Dallas. Uh, I got Clippers. Clippers in six. Okay. Okay. That's tough. All right. Uh, Mark, talk to me, Mark. Western Conference playoff predictions, man. First round. First round, Lakers or Portland and Memphis. If Portland comes in, I got them going at least six games. Okay. If Memphis comes in, that's an easy sweep. Agree, agree. Um, Oklahoma and uh, Houston, I'm definitely riding with my boys. I feel like they're going to take that. This because Westbrook, he's going to miss a few games. So he, he's not going to be playing. So you got OKC winning in what? And at least, I want to say six. I want to say six. Okay. But I got OKC. Okay, I, I feel like they can rock out with that. And Denver and Utah, I got that going to seven. I like that. But I got I like Denver. That. But I got Denver winning. I got I Denver that. winning. That's the first run. That's the first seven y'all said. I like that. Yeah. And the last, Denver I and mean, Clippers and Dallas, I got the Clippers, of course. Paul George going to take off. <laughs> and it's going to be, it's going to end in six. Top so maybe five. League, huh? <laughs> <laughs> maybe right. five. Talk to me, Key. Playoff West of Conference first round predictions. I got Portland with the upset. Going seven. Ooh. Upset. Oh, I got man. the upset. The world going to hate you for that. <laughs> Might as well. Clippers and Dallas. Luka going to steal two games. That's for a fact. But I got Clippers and six. Okay. But Luka's going to steal two. Um, OKC and is that who else? OKC and Houston. Houston. OKC and Houston. 
I got that one going seven, to be honest with you. I got that one going seven. And if I have to, I have to pick, I would choose Houston. I would choose Houston. And then last, you got Utah and uh, Denver. Denver. Utah and Denver, I got that going seven as well. But I'm going to go with Denver. They more, they more. I, I think they more, more of course. Uh, Mortgage and MBJ, I think they more balanced. And I, li- I like their style of play. I think they're going to take it in seven. No questions, no questions. Uh, for me, quickly, Lakers, Portland slash Memphis. If Memphis, sweet, I agree with that. If Portland, I see it going seven. Not going to say who I got winning because uh, I'm just not going to speak on that right now. I got that. I got that. <laughs> I want to say Portland so bad, but you know it's just the LeBron and AD love that I got. It's hard to say that. Um, it's all right, just join my side. So I'm, all right. you know, I, 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 I'm a just Lakers gonna close it out, but it's gonna go seven though. It's not going five. Uh-huh. It's not going four. It's gonna go seven. Uh, OKC in Houston. I know Westbrook gonna be out a couple <laughs> of games. OKC has a lovely team over there with the way they play with Dennis, um, CP3, Gilker, Gilkers, um, Stephen Adams. You know, just Darius Baisley been hooping too. I just think that. Uh, okay, see, that's going seven for sure, and it's really going on the wheel of who's the better leader between West uh, Harden and CP3, and it's uh, I, oh, with CP. That's, that's, that's a tough one, but I'm gonna go Houston. Yeah, I'm, hurt. I'm gonna go Houston. I mean, Harden gonna score. Harden gonna score for sure, but that, that's know. a tough one though. Denver, Utah. <laughs> I got Denver taking that in, in uh, five. I just don't think that Utah's gonna be able to win more than one game. Um, Denver's a very mm-hmm. good team. They have, the, if not the deepest team in the league. With a full 15 players that can hoop, and last mm-hmm. but not least, Clippers versus Dallas. No, I take Luca. Nah, it ain't happening. It ain't oh, happening. He, he ain't ready yet. It's, it's, it's not. Yeah, he's not ready yet, and their team is not ready yet. But it, mm-hmm. I won't be surprised if it goes seven, though. I, I got it going seven, but I got Kawhi and Paul George. As a matter of fact, I take that back. It's not going seven. It's going six because the Mavs didn't even beat the Clippers at all this season. So. Uh, Kawhi and Paul George is going to be too much. Patrick Beverly is just going to be too much. You know, Montrezl Harrell coming mm-hmm. back as well. Lou Williams is there. It's just going to be too much for Luka. You know, his face is going to get red a lot. Uh, you know, so <laughs> I got the Mavericks losing in six against the Clippers. And that's, you know, okay. that's all of our predictions. Great, man. We had a great show, man. I want y'all to comment, like, subscribe on that YouTube. Check us out on Anchor as well. Follow us on social media, man. And y'all can drop predictions as well. Y'all can drop y'all predictions. Let us know what's up. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. And we out, man. Yes, sir.